Again, you are welcome to the Guru's perspective. I did mention in the last episode that we should be talking a little about Peter Obi. But it's not going to be Peter Obi to tell it. We used the Peter Obi episode to narrow and to narrow down to the trajectory of 2023 politics. Will it deliver Nigeria into a world of Eldorado? Or will it deliver Nigeria into the middle of Sulami? I would prefer to use the language that the 2023 general election, if it comes, if the general election holds the 2023, I repeat it again, if it comes, because looking at the political analysis Christ board, there is most likeliness of 2023 not coming. And I will touch that very briefly. What about with the catastrophic issues that are bedeviling the country now? Kidnapping, getting higher, banditry has gone to the highest level, insurgency has gone, the introduction of a new verse, which is called unknown government, is escalating around the whole country. Even in President Muhammad Buhari Kassina State, just last week, they went there and they killed at we, they did everything at we, nobody could challenge them. So if these crises are like this, are we not going to see a, an atmosphere that might be falling back to the suggestion of a, a, the senior advocate of Nigeria, Robert Clark, who said that uh, Buhari should continue, he didn't call it a location of power, who suggested declaration of state of emergency, of course, Today is not my day of analyzing uh, uh, Robert Clerks because he had a mission, a mission similar to the, to the, to the mission that the late Francis Atazoidi brought to Nigeria under the umbrella of uh, Association of Better Nigeria, ABN. So let us forget about that. So if 2023 will come, is it going to be a blessing? Or is it going to be a tsunami? In my own personal opinion, and this is the guru perspective, it is most likely to be a tsunami than blessings. Because the worst person, the worst politician we match as a president of Nigeria, whichever way you want to look at it. Either you are looking at it from the APC, or you are looking uh, at it from the PDP level, the worst politician that will have nothing good at heart for Nigeria will match. And the reason is simple. It is for this reason that Peter will be coming in with his followership on Facebook, the younger one, or Twitter, or Instagram. Oh, he has a very, very huge followership. But I am not too sure if Peter will be has sat down to ask him himself a question. Can you clean the system from outside or from inside? Which gives you better opportunity of cleansing the system? To be outside. Can you clean my bedroom properly and sanitize my bedroom when you are outside the wood, the building or until you come into the building and you move into my bedroom before you can sanitize it better? Peter became as a best man. But let us look at it. Where in the world that you don't spend money you run for an office? When we talk of costly, costly. The American presidency, before you sit down, it costs much money. It takes somebody who is prepared, born to be so, or garner something like uh, Obama did, uh, a donation of one dollar, two dollar from all people to make it right. So, Peter Obi, he has a very, very good way. He has good plans. The man himself is holy cooperatively to many others. But, that is holiness. That is plan. Is it not a bomb? A bomb, atomic bomb against himself? Now, he has seen to it that he will not get one single delegate. Because the governors that own the states, the governors are the semi-gods, the governors are the demons, the governors are the devil that manipulate all these things. He had come to know late, very, very late, that he will not get one delegate that is put on the ground. Even a uh, 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 wiki, yes, I said it. He went to Anabra and he told them, don't waste your vote delegate because Peter Obi will not win anything. Why did this history? 
He tells him now how to go and left PDP and went, went to the uh, now he has joined Labour Party. How many local governments in Nigeria can Labour Party win? Will Peter Obi be able to go to the 19 states of the north where full and are saturated everywhere and get votes there? I am not too sure. It is based on this Peter Obi analysis that I will descend to the other arena that the worst human politician will emerge if 2023 will come in the election of 2022. And let us see that that person that will emerge will not be of any single benefit to Nigeria, not the Nigeria state, but will be a terrible tsunami, a source of tsunami, a demonic curse. And probably after 2023, before we may now be metamorphosing into something better. I shall come back. I shall come back.